we're the only one running that has a record against the incumbent, and we're running against Lindsey Graham, and we're going to continue to cast the difference between my record in the state Senate and his record in the U.S. Senate. I think if we can raise a couple million dollars on our own, we'll get another two or three from around the country. And if you look at that with outside groups coming in, we don't have to compete dollar for dollar. We've got the message, so we just need to get our message out. So I'd say if we can keep it to a three to one race, I think we'll be fine. Well, we're the conservative wing of the Republican Party, and we fight for less government. And of course, you know, folks get elected, you know, talking about less government, but then they get elected and decide they're for more government. And you see a lot of that in Washington, and, and we have the same problem in Columbia because power corrupts, and folks want to grab more power to themselves, and we want to give the power back to the people. Yeah, Paul Cruz and Lee would probably be the three that I have the most admiration for right now. I think that basically they call it Potomac fever up here, but we have the echo chamber we call it in Columbia. But what happens is people get around the power and they forget about the people and they try to grow more power to themselves. So I, I think that you have to trust but verify when it comes to your elected officials. I've seen many a, a good elected official that starts off as a staunch conservative and just becomes, you know, gets become a part of the government and grows government. And I think you need to watch that.